a deadly escalation of India's farmers' protests. Security has been stepped up in Uttar Pradesh after at least eight people were killed in clashes over the past 24 hours. Protest leaders say a vehicle plowed into demonstrators rallying against controversial agricultural laws. As Niha Punia reports, several opposition figures have been detained as police investigations begin. The town of Lakhimpur Kheri in the North Indian state of Uttar Pradesh remains tense a day after eight people were killed. Security in and around the region has been hiked and reports suggest that internet in that area has also been throttled. Early on Monday, senior Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi Vadra was detained by the police as she was on her way to meet the families of the farmers who died during Sunday's clashes. A former chief minister of the state, Akhilesh Yadav, was also stopped by the police from leaving his home. Farmers allege that on Sunday, Union Minister Ajay Mishra's convoy rammed into protesters at Lakhimpur Kheri, killing four. Angry farmers then set several cars on fire and in the violence that followed, four more people were killed. Now, farmers are alleging that the minister's son was driving the car at the time of the accident and the police have now filed a murder case against him at the behest of a complaint filed by the farmers. No arrests have been made yet but several people have been charged for rioting as well. The minister, on the other hand, is denying the charge that his son was driving the car. He says he was not at the scene and instead he's accusing farmers of pelting stones on his convoy and he says that's when his driver lost control of the car and rammed into the protesters. Now, this marks a deadly escalation of the farmers' protests that has been underway for nearly a year now. Eleven rounds of talks between the government and farmers have failed and thousands Thousands of farmers continue to stay camped outside of Delhi's borders. Critics warn that this has become the biggest challenge Mr. Modi has faced since coming to power in 2014, and farmers say they're not done yet. Next year, two crucial regions go to the polls, including India's most popular state of Uttar Pradesh, where Sunday's clashes took place. Farmers say they'll campaign against Mr. Modi and ask voters to boycott his party. Winning Uttar Pradesh is crucial. The state elects the most number of parliamentarians to India's lower house. The new laws passed last year deregulate India's farming sector, allowing farmers to sell their produce beyond government-regulated wholesale markets where growers get a minimum price for their crop. Farmers say that these laws will pave the way for that state support to be eventually withdrawn. The government has denied that. It says uh, laws once passed cannot be withdrawn and uh, it's also maintaining that these laws are essential for reform that the agricultural sector desperately needs. Neha Punia, CNA, New Delhi.